President Trump says he wants to pull all troops out of Afghanistan after nearly two decades of war. But it would come with risk. I would like to just get out. The problem is it, it just seems to be a lab for terrorists. It seems, I call it the Harvard of terrorists. But I would leave very strong intelligence there. The president says he has already recalled thousands of troops from the country. I have pulled a lot out. We were at 16,000. We're down to about 9,000. Pentagon officials, however, say roughly 14,000 U.S. troops remain as peace talks continue with the Taliban. On a recent surprise visit to Kabul, the Secretary of State said any withdrawal would depend on those talks. While we've made clear to the Taliban that we're prepared to remove our forces, I want to be clear, we've not yet agreed on a timeline to do so. Just two days after a seventh round of talks, the Taliban claimed responsibility for a massive truck bomb in downtown Kabul Monday that Afghan officials claim killed at least six people and injured more than 100, including 51 children. American forces continue to suffer casualties as well. The remains of 24-year-old Army Sergeant James Johnston arrived at Dover Air Force Base. Johnston was one of two American soldiers killed in a gun battle in Afghanistan last week, along with 32-year-old Master Sergeant Michael Riley, a Green Beret. Before resigning, then-Defense Secretary Jim Mattis warned of the dangers of pulling American troops out of Afghanistan too early. Our intelligence services are very specific that we will uh, be under attack. More Taliban peace talks are expected this weekend. The Secretary of State hopes for a deal by the end of next month. At the Pentagon, Lucas Tomlinson, Fox News.